Have you ever felt like you're constantly on edge, even when there's nothing particularly stressful happening? That's the microstress effect at work. It's the accumulation of small stressors that can add up over time and leave us feeling overwhelmed and anxious. Examples of microstressors include things like traffic jams, long lines at the grocery store, or even just a cluttered workspace. While these things may seem minor, they can have a significant impact on our overall stress levels. Research has shown that even low levels of stress, such as traffic jams or a difficult conversation with a coworker, can have a cumulative effect on our health over time. This is known as the microstress effect, and it can lead to serious physical and mental health problems. Studies have found that these small stressors can cause inflammation in the body, which can contribute to chronic conditions like heart disease and depression. Additionally, the constant activation of the body's stress response can lead to fatigue, irritability, and decreased cognitive function. The impact of microstress on our health cannot be overstated. While it may seem like small stressors are insignificant, they can accumulate over time and lead to serious health problems. For example, studies have shown that chronic stress can increase the risk of heart disease, depression, and anxiety. Additionally, microstress can also affect our immune system, making us more susceptible to illnesses. This is because stress hormones can weaken our body's defenses against infection. In fact, research has found that people who experience chronic stress are more likely to get sick and take longer to recover from illnesses. One way to identify microstressors is to pay attention to your body's physical reactions. Do you feel tense or anxious in certain situations? Do you experience headaches or stomach aches after interacting with certain people or engaging in certain activities? These physical symptoms can be a sign of underlying microstressors that may be affecting your overall well-being. Another way to identify microstressors is to keep a journal or log of your daily activities and interactions. By recording your experiences, you may notice patterns or triggers that are causing stress in your life. For example, you may discover that a particular coworker consistently causes tension during meetings, or that checking your email before bed leads to poor sleep quality. One effective strategy for managing microstress is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness involves focusing on the present moment and being aware of your thoughts and feelings without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, you can reduce stress and improve your overall well-being. Another helpful strategy is to prioritize self-care. This can include activities such as exercise, getting enough sleep, and engaging in hobbies that you enjoy. Taking care of yourself can help you feel more relaxed and better equipped to handle stressors when they arise. In conclusion, the microstress effect is a real phenomenon that affects us all. It's the accumulation of small stressors that can have a big impact on our physical and mental health over time. To take control of our microstress levels, we need to start by identifying the stressors in our daily lives. This can include things like traffic, social media, and even our own negative self-talk. Once we've identified these stressors, we can take action to manage them. This might involve setting boundaries, practicing mindfulness, or seeking support from friends and family. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.